All right, let's have a go at some more vibe coding, peeps. So if you want to follow along, um, you just need access to Xcode and you need access to Cursor. Both of them can be downloaded quite easily. Um, you will need to create a new project in Xcode. I've called my new X flashcards. This is going to be our second vibe coding session with Xcode and Cursor. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, so let's see what the idea here is just to have an app that has <coughs> cards, UX flashcards. I mean, the title is terrible, but it does what it says on the tin. So we're going to have a an app which basically has just cards that you can flick through and they have UX concepts on. That's the plan. The target audience is designers, obviously UX people, possibly even product people, etc. Um, we're going to put it on the App Store and, you know, we could go all into business models and that, in a, but this is mainly about vibe coding. So we'll get into all of that later when we realize that building products is super easy now and we have to start thinking around the actual building and more about the actual selling of them. So here we go. Uh, Xcode has finally rendered the standard out of the box. And let's start making some changes. Now, I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, pre-prompting or any of that. I think that's probably going to go away. Um, let's just jump in and see what it's like with straight play natural language, which is the way it should be. So, let's get started. In our little chat context box here, um, these settings should be absolutely fine. These keep changing because the cursor is moving a lot, uh, but this is a, it basically much simpler nowadays. Okay, let's just get stuck into the chat. Um, let's create, I mean, this is terrible, I guess, but everyone has their own style. Let's create an app for UX designers and let's just say product people product managers to quickly reference UX concepts via cards and a filtering system. Lists of cards or at least a list of cards and a filtering system to find the concept. Right? Please create the initial layout of a set of UX concept cards and a search filter at the top. And send. And let's see what it comes up with. I have to allow something, fine. And off it goes. Creating code quicker than anyone could imagine. There we go. Boom. Ports Foundation. Look at that. Set up your structs. Got our enums there. Just absolutely magical. And, uh, you know, we even have to see the code when, to be honest with you, all we need is a chat interface. We don't need the IDE anymore. I don't need to look at the code. I'm not good enough for the code. Most people are not going to be good enough for the code. Yeah, obviously you'd want to have it available for some people, but Okay, looks like it's already got something going. Like I imagine if you want to see the code, you should be able to, of course, because the developers will need to debug it and so on. Um, you'll still need developers, good ones, because AI is not good enough yet, but eventually that will go away. It will also improve the whole front-end concept, I'm pretty sure. You know, React isn't the be-all and end-all. AI will de design the next front-end fashion. So it looks like it's finished here. It even gives me a brief... Okay, so let's read it out. I've created initial layout. Search bar at the top. Boom. Horizontal scrolling. Category filter. Ah, yes, this is good. Yeah, tabs. Grid layout of concept cards, even though I might just want one card at a time. Each card displays X, Y, Z, happy structured. Look at this. It's got the Swift for the data model, concept card, and the view, main view, perfect. 
some linter errors, but the basic structure is in place. Sample concepts. Would you like me to? I mean, this is just fix the remaining linter, add more concepts, embrace, enhance the vision design, add any other features. I always like to compliment the AI. <clears throat> Looks good. Let's um, do two and three. Let's see if that works. I haven't actually tried just referencing his list. And make the list of cards single column. So, so it's going to enhance the vision design, whatever that he thinks that is, which I'm, I'm very doubtful about. Well, also changing that to single form. Okay, plus he's gone ahead and done the linter errors anyway, looks like. Which is always good, but um, I've noticed sometimes it gets stuck in a loop. So it's updating the content view to use a single column. And enhance the visual design. Let's see what it thinks enhancing the visual design is. Uh, putting the background on. All right. I mean, it looks worse to me, frankly. But hey, this is the beauty of being a designer that you know UX cannot design. That's the truth. It's terrible looking. Oh, what has it done? Okay, it's changed the column. Lazy V grid sounds good. Enhanced the visual design. Well, I don't think so. It's got worse. Added seven new concepts. Excellent. Um, do I have to build it to scroll here? I'm not a. I guess I could build it. It'll, it'll appear on my phone then and I can check it. Well, I will do that in a second. Let's just keep going here. Um, obviously, this would need a hell of a lot more work, but for five minutes, this is a joke. It has now cleaner, more focused layout. Yeah, right. Uh, so let's see what it suggests. Further enhanced features. I know, thanks. I don't want you to touch that anymore. Add more UX concepts. So I've noticed that design in, uh, AI design is terrible. A lot of product people wouldn't care as long as it's functional, but at some point I think, you know, UX does matter. Um, when you have a lot of competition, UX matters. So I think we're going to have to clean up the design again, actually. So let's um, let's thank the UI. I'm always, I always want to be nice. <clears throat> and let's fix this. Okay, please clean up the UI by removing the background color no jeez uh, I mean luckily it can even understand misspelling color remove the shadows turn it to dark mode and um, add an icon to the top of the cards a little more padding. I mean, this is worse to design like this than it is to design in Figma. I'll simplify the search box with a simple search input. No background. What about grammar important, I guess, with no background. Let's see what it does now. Okay, if it goes, bada beam, bada boom, it's going to help me clean up the UI according to my requirements. It's updating the content cards, now it's going to update the content view. Obviously, it hadn't split those out, which, I mean, these days, who cares, you know? Well, I guess when you get to scaling, it's going to be an issue. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit better. The cards should be centralized. This is good. The cards don't, this scrolls, but the cards don't scroll. I mean, I'm, to be honest, I'm not an Xcoder. Expert. Oh, it does, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't click. Okay, so that's looking good. Yeah, this is looking really quite nice. <laughs> I can search the concepts. This is excellent. I mean, this is just, okay. This is step one. I mean, we're off and away to the race is now what we need to do. This is our MVP. We could actually go ahead and publish this and then we have to build out a lot more use, useful functionality. All right, that's it for today. Check out Vibe Coding. This is wicked, awesome and amazing. See you in the next video.